Hello again, and we're on to our next micro lecture. Remember, these are intentionally short, so you can piece together a lot of them, and they focus on individual ideas, so you can rewatch a single video if you're having trouble with a certain idea. This one's going to be on calculating distance while accelerating. So if we've got, let's say, a little rocket wagon here that's homemade, uh, how do we predict where this person's going to be after one second or after two seconds? This would be important because if you don't have a long enough runway, then you may be flying off of it someplace. So it'd be important to know. Uh, one to, or sorry, three bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and follow-up questions. Are there products that you need for this one? So let's get started. Our objective is for uh, solving for acceleration, beginning speed, distance, or time in a constant acceleration problem. So the distance while accelerating is given by this equation. Variable d is for distance, measured in units in this case, and it's calculated by plugging into the equation v naught. We say this v with a little zero down here as v naught or initial velocity times time plus one half times the acceleration times time squared. So it's just the time that's squared, not the acceleration or the one half. So again, v naughts or the v with a little zero means initial velocity, d is for distance, t is the time, and the a is the acceleration in this case. So let's do a practice problem. Mr. Canning needs to know how long to make a straight track for racing rocket wagons like this one right here. The fastest wagon accelerates at a rate of 3 meters per second squared. How far does it go in 10 seconds if it starts from rest? So I'd advise you to pull out a sheet of paper and maybe solve along. Uh, see if you can do this before I do. So maybe hit pause and then solve. But I'm going to go ahead and move on now. So last chance, hit pause, try and do this on your own. If not, here we go. So the given information for this problem is 3 meters per second. I know that based on this info right here, the 3 meters per second squared, it tells me that's the acceleration. Please remember to write the A, for the variable for the, um, the value in this case. It's also given that time is 10 seconds, so I'm going to write the T for time. Important to do the variable so that you can pick out the right equation later on. Uh, also, one piece of un, or given information that's kind of not shown there is that fact that it starts from rest. Although it's not a number, it says it right here. So I'd actually include that as well. Our unknown, or what we're solving for, is distance, given that information. <laughs> so we plug into the equation d equals 1 half v naught times t plus, or sorry, d equals v naught t plus 1 half a t squared. So I plug in, so I'm substituting. I'm putting in 0 for the beginning speed, 10 for the time, 0.5 as 1 half, 3 for the acceleration, and 10 squared for time squared. If you solve, this comes out to 0 plus 0.5 times 3 times 100, which gives me 0 plus 1.5 times 100 or an answer of 150 meters. So if I'm going to use this rocket wagon that accelerates at 3 meters per second squared for 10 seconds, I've got to make a track that's 150 meters long. That's over one football field. That's actually like one and two-thirds football fields long. So it'd be a pretty long track just to have a 10-second ride on this. So chances are this person on a sidewalk is probably only able to like hit that rocket for a couple or like one or two seconds and not a full 10 seconds for the ride. That's it for this one. Three bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and your follow-up questions, please.